Ivan, we are not allowed to speak on the radio today about the elections, any elections, but we are allowed to speak online. And right now I want to focus on the local elections, which is nationally a numbers game. How low or how high do they go? So firstly, it's not, we're not comparing like and like. There's only one city, there's only one council in the entire country that is unchanged, and that is Cork City Council. Had 31 members in 2009 and it'll have 31 in 2014. Everywhere else has changed, so you have to watch the shifting sands of whether or not the council numbers are up or down. Totally nationally there will be 949 councillors elected over this weekend, so that means there's an increase of about 65 councillors on 2014. So this could mask some of the damage, and that's the point you've been making, this could mask some of the damage for Fine Gael and Labour in councils across the country. Yeah, where Fine Gael did very well in 2009, and for example, in a district electoral area where they got three out of five, which was a great achievement for the first time, the, to hold those three seats out of eight, the bar is much lower. So actually you could have a significant decline. And, and we're looking at the Irish Times poll of last Monday, which asked the question, how would you vote in the local elections? And the Fine Gael vote was down from 30-something percent to about 24% for Fine Gael. That's a 12% drop. Uh, Labour, their vote halving. So what I'm looking at around the country is, um, of the 119 fin, fin Labour councillors, I'm looking at the prospect of them losing 70 seats. And the places to look at that are councils where Labour did extraordinarily well in 2004, and then because of that, oh sorry, 2009, and because of that, that propelled lots of those councillors into the Dáil in the 011, in the 2011 general election. So you're talking Fingal, you're talking South Dublin, you're talking Dunleary, you're talking Dublin City. They will hold up better in Dublin than the rest of the country, but if you're on 7% nationally, the best they can do in Dublin is 12%. But the Sinn Féin story of this election, there are some key places to watch. First of all, places like Kilkenny, where Sinn Féin could get no traction at all, but Kathleen Function ran in the general election and got 3,500 votes. Can Sinn Féin get a seat in Kilkenny at the no, cost? They will. They will. Uh, absolutely. But you also have to look at places. If you look at both Cork County and Cork City, at the moment uh, there are only four Sinn Féin councillors across both of them, Cork County and City. If you look at Galway as well, can Sinn Féin have a breakthrough in Galway? At the moment, they only have one, and that's in Galway County, none in Galway City at all. So they're the type of numbers to watch for Sinn Féin. And also, the Donegal story is going to be fascinating because will Sinn Féin romp home in Donegal? They have 11 candidates, and people are saying all 11 could win a seat yeah, in Donegal. I, I'm hearing in areas where they have some previous traction and infrastructure, counties like Cavan Monaghan, Donegal, Kerry, they could actually go to being almost the largest party. Uh, and, and so you're getting a combination of the old diehard Republican vote, disaffected Fianna Fáil voters, and a new generation who really aren't into the history of uh, the Republican movement and the atrocities and so on, and, and the war, but they're into anti-government, vibrant protest and Sinn Féin is ticking their boxes, and they've young candidates. The Fianna Fáil story, everyone will focus on the capital, look at the capital, the wipeout from the 2011 general election, as well as the capital and Fianna Fáil, I'm going to watch places like Kerry, because in Kerry, in 2011, in the general election, in the history of this state, Sinn F uh, Fianna Fáil have always had at least two dull seats in Kerry. In 2011, they got zero, no one across the county. So that's the type of place where you can look and see is there a Fianna Fáil recovery? And there are names like McEllistrum, Foley, good Fianna Fáil family names running again. Will we start to see a Fianna Fáil recovery? Uh, I think three things. I think you will see a situation where, relative to not the last local elections, but the general election, where the disaffection and the implosion of Fianna Fáil was so great that people who were diehard Fianna Fáil supporters loaned their vote elsewhere. Mm -hmm. they, that will return. Uh, so I definitely think from the sort of 16 percent they got in the general election, they will get 23, 24 percent. The two other factors: the east coast of Ireland is not ready to forgive Fianna Fáil yet. You're going to see them not doing so well there. And the other issue is an internal issue. A lot of people are not happy with the leadership of Micheál Martin, and they're looking at 
just leaning on the shovel a little bit to cause him damage that might ensure that he doesn't lead them into the next general election. So Ivan, just after this weekend, after the local elections, it is really the, the testing point for the general election. People who do well will be candidates across the country. It is a, a, a platform from which to launch themselves on a candidate basis, uh, both as independents and so on. Uh, for me, the issue on the national political fallout is one, the leadership of Gilmore, and at a later stage, the leadership of Micheál Martin, mm -hmm. maybe later into the summer, uh, and, and a semi-crisis in Labour, which could lead to questions about them leaving government, but they won't, because turkeys don't vote for Christmas. Uh, and the other issue is, such is going to be the plethora of independents are elected, will this provide the nucleus of a new political party? 949 seats to fill. A lot of work.